what is up youtube my name is robert Brad jones and welcome to my channel so today i'm doing something different i'm doing a manipulation and it's about a ninja what? something what? Ninja. What? a ninja okay so let's start right away so i have a background of um the woods but this one is more like um bamboo with type of image yes this type and i'm going to use this as my background so for now i don't want to do any effect to it here so i'm just going to click on okay then it opens into my workspace yes okay so you know um we don't want the white side here because we want to fill the whole white space so i'm going to scale the image to fill the whole workspace something like this then drag to the upper space so we, we get the floor and everything yes something like this very cool okay so um the main reason why i'm doing this is because like outside doing tutorials and the contest i haven't had the opportunity to do any manipulations in a while and i must say i've been doing manipulations a while back so i'm going back to it so let's say every week i'll get like Two manipulations for you you guys to i mean get into it okay so let's start so first off i'm going to make sure the background is a bit dark because you don't want like this one it looks like the daylight and it's too i mean it's too bright for my liking so we're going to lower the curves to give it that type of darker feel then we're going to add some levels to it also and also make it look very dark okay something like this will do then after that i have an image that i want to use for the ninja image this image i don't know who he is but then i downloaded this from onsplash.com you can check the link in the description for the website onsplash.com so i already saved you guys the trouble the trouble of taking off the background of the image so i'm just going to drag it into our workspace real quick so here is the image and um i must say it's going to be a journey yes okay so let's start with our ninja whatever. so um the background is dark as i want it to be but i prefer it to be much more darker i just want it to be much much more dark yeah something like this okay then i'm going to create let me turn off the image for the meantime i'm going to create a new layer and select black for my foreground color and bring out the brush reduce the opacity to let's say 39 and brush on the sides so i'm going to brush on the sides here just to i mean get that type of deeper feel okay and also on this side yes i'm going to brush on this side too where the bamboo are and there's a reason why i choose 30, 36 or 38 for the um, um how do you call it the opacity of the brush so i just want to make sure i'm not getting much 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 deeper whatever that it is and something small like i'm getting right now so i'm going to brush on the path to give the path also that type of darker look that i want yes something like this will do okay then you lock the layer so now that we're done with the background um, this is one thing we can add let me take the image to camera roll and do a few effects in them i'm just going to add clarity to it um, um up the saturation and um, i think the highlights to take it down a bit then we're going to be good with the background okay so i'm opening to camera raw now it will be opened very soon okay so we have the image here so i'm going to um add a bit of much green to it and yellows too yes and i don't know if orange is going to matter but let me add it and um, aqua yeah much 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 more of aqua 
a little bit of deep blue then it's cool then for the detail i'm just going to add more sharpening to it and hold alternate and drag the masking to see where the um detail or the sharpening is affecting the image and i think this place is okay yes so for the noise reduction i think it's cool to basic i'm going to add more texture to it and also much 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 clarity and i think we're going to be good to go yes this is what i want so click on ok and it's going to load into our workspace yes okay so now let's wait for it to be done and um, we'll move on to the next so the next phase probably we're going to edit the image and make sure the image works with um the background because right now the image looks like um i don't know some type of way but then we're going to work on that too yes so camera raw effect is done and i'm not sure we're going to see it because i've already done these curves and yeah i think that is the effect yeah i'm pretty sure you guys see it so let me add more brushes to this side because after adding the effect in in camera it seems to have popped up so much more blacks here and we're going to go lock it again yes so here is our image and it's a guy jumping i don't really he looks more like peter mckinnon if you guys know peter mckinnon but it's not him it's not peter yes he has a nose and everything but it's not him okay so we're going to make the image look more realistic in the background so first off let me take it into camera raw and i'm going to add clarity texture um reduce or add the highlights the shadows and everything okay so let me zoom in on the image and i think no 200 is too much 100 yeah 100 is cool yes so a bit of contrast um, small bit of highlights reduce the shadow yeah make sure the image is quite working the whites to somehow up and bring the blacks down to make it deeper and a bit of clarity to, to give it that type of popping effect yes and small texture added to it so um let's go back and see i think at this point it looks cool but let me add a bit of exposure to it yes and much much more of clarity for the colors i don't i don't think i'm going to start the color so okay then let's see what happens to the image okay camera raw filter camera raw filter and good so as you can see there's a vast difference between the first when we imported the image and now okay so what we're going to do next is you see he's jumped so we want to get the effect that he jumped and um, his shadow is on the floor so this is what we're going to do we're going to duplicate or we're going to add a drop shadow to his image and after adding the drop shadow we're going to divide or subtract the um, how do you call it the drop shadow from his image okay so the drop shadow is now in place yes it it's now in place so i'm going to right click on the drop shadow and, hold, and hit on create layer and now we have the drop shadow separately so i'm going to manipulate the drop shadow down here and make sure it is really working according to how i want it to be so if you can see i don't know if you can see it well down here but yeah the drop shadow is there it is okay so we have this type of feeling that he has jumped and his shadow is going down so at this point we we should get it that um the source of light is coming from this side yes the source of light is coming from upper the upper part of the attic okay so now let's keep on keep on so you see how dark this is and his shoes are really by like his shoes are literally very bright we don't want it to be that way so we are going to make sure all the downsiders from the right shoe up to his knee part is going to be a bit dark so we're going to create a new layer and clip um, the new layer into the image select our brush and start brushing over so we're just going to brush over if you guys see this yes just 
a bit of brushing just to make sure that the lower part of the image is i mean darker because he's in a dark and i'm pretty sure you get me yes so after after adding the shadows to it, this is how it's going to look i think it's pretty cool yeah okay so um i don't want us to have this normal look because already i'm pretty sure you guys are doubting um what i have here but then it's progress yeah it's it's much 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 progress okay so i'm going to do a quick color grade on the background so that we get something different like um, um, um a look that is going to go through the whole thing so i'm going to select my color balance and start going through so a bit of red give me some small greens here and blue let me, let me try here and see now nah, this one is too yellow how about the magenta no 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 i'll go with this for now and choose shadows a bit of red for the shadows not much greens yeah not much something like this will do and i don't know for the yellow i think the yellow seems to work yeah i think that will do yeah and um highlights to not much but just a little bit because you see we have the highlights working here and it's a bit cool actually and um for the green and the magenta i don't know it becomes too green to my liking but then this is cool this is cool i'll take this like that so just so you guys could, um, um, just so you guys know the effect i just that's a color balance i just i just applied to the background i'm going to duplicate the color balance and insert it into the image as well and see how it's going to work okay so this is what happens when i insert the color balance into the image also but at this point you can see that the background and the image is almost i mean it's almost clashing like they are almost together so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to make sure the background is much much more deeper because when we started it was already deeper so this is what i'm going to do i have a friend of mine here that is spotlight uh, i'm pretty sure you guys know i've been using spotlight a long time ago so place embedded we're going to go into file explorer and get the spotlight yes yeah this is just my photoshop doing a little bit of delaying and all that but don't mind him don't mind my photoshop so um resources resources or fresh design resources and s for spotlight spotlight where are you i'm looking for you spotlight 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 where are you? where's this guy okay found him yes and now the spotlight is in so i'm going to hit on the shift and alternate and drag to the upper part so that it gets to all the sides so nice we have a much deeper look here and i must say if if i add anything glowy or anything outer glow to this right now it's going to pop up and I, I must tell you so let me duplicate the spotlight and see how it's going to turn out and yeah this one too is cool but it really takes out the detail of the bamboo background so let me leave it like this and lock it okay let's move on so i downloaded a katana that's a sword um, um a ninja sword and it's it's kind of badass because those swords are very little so it, it came with the sheath that is in but i don't want the sheath i just want the sword only so i'm going to take the sheath out and um layer via cuts then just turn it off and luckily for me the the, the guy we're using for the image he looks he looks more like as a thief he is holding a sword so it means he is helping me in some way in that type of way he's helping me or something yes so i'm going to make sure he holds the katana very well and yes i'm like this so now let's make sure the sword is in his hand so i'm going to reduce the opacity of the katana and use the pen to to just cut away the parts that I don't want. So I'm just going to cut to the side. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes. And I'm going to take away 
what I have just like that okay so at this point it looks a bit raw but let me see let me look at the original image because it looks like I've made that too deep too darker uh, nah there is no space there unless I create one myself so let's go back on the edit of the the katana and um, yes instead of passing through where we did I'm just going to go there to the side and just give it a sort of something like this yeah so that it looks like the sword is passing through his hands and not the other way around so yeah I'm just going to clear the nah not like this like this yes so this way it looks like the sword is passing through the subjects hands then I would have to add a bit of shadow right here so that it looks as if he's really holding it because that's what we want to get right now so a bit of shadow there and oh I'm still at opacity 61 so let me just add more to it yes and add another to this side too just so we get that idea that he's holding that way nah you guys should forgive me I forgot to create a new layer on top of the katana okay so new layer added then the shadow comes in and the shadow also comes to the side nice so let's zoom out and see how it looks yes pretty badass but but wait is it that i've made a mistake and turned because the sword looks as if i've yeah or this side is supposed to look um, um the other way so let me just um flip horizontally and see but i have to make sure it follows the first cut that i did so something like this and just twist it a bit twist it a bit guys this is really my bad if only i paid much much more attention to where the sword was looking at i mean i would have seen there was a mistake coming in somewhere so something like this and we're good to go yeah uh-huh okay so now it's it's in the right place yeah this is how he's supposed to hold the katana okay so i'm going to do something marvelous here and make sure the katana is glowing but before that i'll take the katana into the camera raw and add some slight effects to it at this point I need to start wrapping up because we're almost in 18 minutes for this little thing I just did really come on so yes we're going to add some few details to the katana and um, a bit of exposure contrast blacks clarity texture and shadow highlights and I think we're good to go but more of clarity though yeah more of clarity yes let me hit on okay so that it loads in okay so after that we move on to the next phase of the sword yes it's downloading <gasps> excuse me so i'm going to draw a small like a very thin line throughout the katana to the end something like this a very a very thin line because i want the glue to be very thin something like this will do and and get back to the other end so pen tool is actually very hard to use i don't know is it only me guys because pen tool jeez you just want to do something simple but this guy needs to stress you out and everything let me zoom out and just get this guy in place uh, okay I'll go for this because pen tool is really stressing. Yes, so we select and just create a new layer on top of the katana. Select paint buckets and let me choose green because we already 
worked with green that is for the background so i'm just going to click and yes as you can see we have like a solid inside the the blade that's the katana so i'm going to set outer glow for that and um this is where the magic comes in instead of the already blue that we have i'm just going to choose green side spread and reduce the opacity a bit and much more spread and i think yeah but what i don't love about it right now is the fact that there's this side is much much bigger than um, the middle part because the middle part is supposed to be much bigger than the edges so i'm going to take my eraser and just clean a bit off the side i don't i don't really want much there yes something like this now nah, let me go back to 100 percent for the brush yeah something like this will actually do and also for this side it's the glue that we actually want we want just the glue so yeah so something like this so at this point i need to enter back into the glue to make sure the outer glue is really working so more size or is it little size or more size just a bit size and more spread actually yeah and a bit of opacity opacity to it sorry okay so nice we have this in place and i think it's looking cool already yes so what else does um um ninjas have i think they have those small small um how do you call it shuriken or whatever i have one here so let me just bring it in real quick so we can do something on it yes I'm, i was talking about this guy i'm pretty sure you all know what it is it's like those little dark things that he, he just threw at you and then he just yes so at this point i'm having a problem with the background and also the shuriken because um, the shuriken is black and the background is also black so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the outer glue of the katana and just paste it onto let me let me pasteurize this guy first and just place it onto the yes so at this point we have something cool working on here so this is what i'm going to do it's going to look as if someone threw the shuriken at him and he's dodging it so i'll duplicate one to this side and change the way it is looking and also duplicate one to the upper parts and reduce the opacity for it and one thing that is very cool is when you add motion blur to stuff like this so i'm going to um, rasterize the layer style and just add some motion blur to it so yes a bit of motion blur to the shrieking okay so this is what i have but then it, it has to look the other way that is this way i think looking this way is quite cool and it really looks like we've thrown someone has thrown it and it's coming at you yeah so i'm just let me just add my children cool 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 okay so after this i don't know let me delete this guy and just duplicate more of the shuriken the motion bladed one and just duplicate to the side reduce the opacity for it and make it feel as if he's dodging it some type of way so i'm going to place this one too here just a little bit yes and delete this one cool okay you see we are working with um how do you call it the shadows to him everything about the background is very black and very dark meaning we're in a very dark place sort of like it's getting to midnight or i don't know how to say it but then something like this is very cool yes okay so i was thinking of doing something other than the sword but i don't really know he doesn't have much of an accessory on him 
and his eyes too are not showing so i don't know what to add at this point but um i think i can do something like um, a smoke coming out from somewhere or i don't know what if i wish this thing was a live thing going on so you guys could have given me more ideas as to what to do but then at this point i think we have something cool here and um we have something cool here that we can say that we've done and you guys, uh, it's not even a word, we've done something cool yes so on the right part i'm going to make this guy much bigger so it's going to be as if it is near the camera or something like that yes yes something of this so it's cool and to to um make this all seem very cool i'm going to duplicate the guy's image and make it look as if he transported is he is, is transported you know? like he he dodged those things coming at him so i am going to merge this whole thing together that is that small detail at the background uh, then i'm going to add motion blur to it so a bit of motion blur. but this time i'm going to come from the other side something like this oh wait is this one we pull out on the other i think this one will do so yeah more more um, a motion blur to it to give us the effect that we want something like this yes and to top it all you see that type of effect going on at the background that we just did i'm going to duplicate it and shift it way back so we have that effect going on and it's going to feel like it left a trail or something it's going to feel as if the ninja left a trail when he was moving out of the way something like this i'm going to duplicate another and do the same thing for that one yes and after that i'm going to du duplicate all three of them and add some greens to it so you're going to we are going to add some greens to the shadow that is working there so a bit of green here Wait, i need to create a new layer clip it to this guy yes reduce the opacity to to 30 something a bit of green here a bit of green here a bit of green here a bit of green so it's kind of like an effect he did or like I don't know how to play it's like he was trying to dodge the shurikens coming his way is it shuriken or shuriken I don't know. yes and after that i'm going to add a bit of the glow that we did to it no 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 no, no. not the other side not much not much we don't really want much of it so reduce the opacity zoom out and this is what we have now uh, i think it's cool yeah it's like he's giving us this type of evading effect cool 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 okay so at this point i don't know what to add than add some small text or something like that so i have um a vector sort of logo for this work i'm going to add color overlay to it but this time white and i'm going to add a few text to the design i don't know should i place it down here or up here okay let me place it to the side here. so i'm going to add a text or something what should i write is it dodgy ninja ninja master or something ninja ninja master in white actually i don't even know if i have a font for ninja because we have those type of fonts there i have a font here that i can use i have alexis branch and it can pose as a ninja yes let me add 
italize it and yes okay reduce the logo a bit cool and i want to have like some a lot of details or a lot of text going on here so i'm just going to put in a dummy and then add what i want to add i think the text are very huge so i'm going to reduce it there's nothing that actually if you look at this is the dummy text that photoshop gives you the lorem epsom dollar set whatever i don't know what it means but it is cool and i want it there so i'm just going to duplicate and duplicate again and duplicate again till i have what i want yes so at this point i'm going to select them all and position them at where i want them to be no. yes okay you can actually use this for i don't know but you can use it for something i don't actually have an idea of what i'm doing to the text there but yeah this thing will do then i'm going to mask it behind i'm going to mask it behind the image yeah something like this okay So we are almost done. I think we are almost done. Almost, almost, almost done. And um, yeah, ninja. ninja. What if I change? What if I change the font for this ninja? Let me go in for something else. And um, I have go bold here. Go bold. Yes, yes, yes. It is very cool to have different type of fonts yes this is what i want this is what I want. so i'm going to take away this ninja and replace it with this ninja all ninjas all ninjas in the society ninja 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 mm -hmm. and we are good to go wow we are 34 minutes in so the main reason why sometimes i record um how do you call it F um speed works is because at the end of the day the outwards are going to exceed to like 30 minutes 40 minutes and so and i don't want to take you guys all your time so i just have to cut it short but then today i'm pretty sure you guys loved what we went through just now even though it was challenging not uh, not much challenging but i mean it was fun too as we went through this whole thing yeah and it was cool so yeah that'll be it for today thank you guys for being with me here i'll add a few touches to the final work yes as you know me to be i'll add a few touches to it but then this is where i can take you guys 35 minutes and we're good to go so subscribe to the channel like the video and if you want anything if you want me do if you want me to do any tutorial on anything just let me know and i'll see you in the next one bye bye